Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. I'm not getting any flying sounds at all. That's kind of weird. How's everybody doing? This is, I think, this will be episode 181, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it's 181 just of season two, since we reset the server. Um, I don't have a whole lot planned. And I know every time I say that, I end up recording for an hour and have to figure out how to trim down the episode or cut it into two, which happened last time. I said the very same thing and uh, ended up being two parts. The next part, last, the other part is uh, going up uh, tomorrow. And this won't be until after I get back from a, a little trip. I'm doing a little uh, camping trip. Uh, so I'll be up in Oregon. Oh, hey, look, iron's already piling up again. Very good. Uh, Eric Hulk is online. He probably is at his little underwater base. Set up the portal. He lit it. We saw all that last time. Um, I, at this point, I think the most productive thing... Let's go out and see the dig. There we go, look, flying sounds, at least some of them. That's so weird. Uh, <clears throat> so I think Barb makes things was uh, saying that she got the, the dig area sort of finished up or dug the way she was planning on doing it. Let's, uh, let's, let's have a look. Uh-oh, is this blocked off? Oh no, it's just so creepy to look down through there and see all the glass. Oh wow, so she got off, she got all the floor all glassed in. Oh, this is so creepy looking. This is very cool. We should probably have a portal out here. I think so. Where's the nearest one? The nearest one is, might be, it's like a village out farther than this. Okay. Well, this is, uh, <laughs> this is really, really crazy looking with the glass. In fact, oh, we could get rid of the torches. Nothing will spawn on the glass. It'll just be dark down here, and then we could, like, plop buckets of lava down below to give it some mood lighting. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Oh, hello, slimes. Very good. Whoa. There's a thing of water here. It's not a drop. Must be a water source to do something. Interesting. There's more over here. Yeah. Oops. A tree is here. I just missed it. Lots of slime. Okay, very nice. Uh, let me go back to my place and we will work on some stuff and uh, and we'll talk about some stuff. Meow. Where's the kitty? Why does the cat sound so loud? Oh, <laughs> right there. Hi. How are you? Fuzz Aldrin. Did you go to the moon? Okay. So speaking of the moon, the uh, 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing happened just a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, depending on when you watch this, uh, or longer, I guess. But that was, uh, that was pretty crazy. Um... 
I was born a, uh, about a week after the moon landing. And, and so uh, I just, I wasn't obviously watching it on TV when it happened, but my parents were. Um, and there were some really interesting resources for watching sort of the anniversary kind of live, right? So watching a recreation of what it was like to watch it live 50 years ago. Ah, oh, it's weird. Just cut out right there. Right. Oh, wait. I... Spawn Island's right there. That means Eric Hulk's the underwater base is out here. Oh, look, lighting underwater. I bet there's some sea pickles down there. Yeah, look at this. Conduit. Dome. There's apparently additional structures. There's a rowboat. Let's go up. Oh, there's something else down there. Oh, uh, there's another dome down here. Oh, and it's got bands around it. Kind of like a soccer ball or something. Oh, that's very cool. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, the anniversary was there. So, there was a website called Apollo in Real Time that you can still go to and check out. And it, it allows you to sort of listen to the, uh, the radio nets for mission control and the space capsule and all that good stuff. Um, kind of in time with the original thing, offset by a certain amount of time. So you can say, oh, go back exactly 50 years from now. Hi, chicken. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, or you can say, take me to just before the launch of Apollo 11. Um, and, and then start playing it from there. And then wait several days, because after the launch, it took them like three days to get to the moon. They spent about half a day on the moon, and then three days to get back. Um, it's pretty crazy. But, uh, so that, yeah, that happened, and I don't think I talked about that. Without hurting myself. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then. <coughs> so that was pretty cool. Uh, I. I covered. I think I covered the. Is that Baby Huey? I heard making noise. Or is, or is there another creature in the caves right around this walkway? Huh. Oh. Wait. Uh oh. Sounds like there's a villager trapped up here somewhere. That's weird. I need to investigate that. Uh, and then, uh, so I think I mentioned the last time that I got into the magic castle. Hi, turtle. It still escaped. Two three iron golems over here okay that's that's gonna be a problem I will need to take care of them uh, before I go in and, and kidnap more villagers but before I do that I need a place to put them and I do not want to put them in into the furnace here um, and I do not want to send them into the nether so I put them I can I can store them over here I think that'll work so I just need a few things to reroute things um, lever some rail and I'll need mine carts and I will probably need some glass to encase them just in case yeah um, <clears throat> that was a bad, that was a bad unintentional pun. Okay, so if we come over here 
and I say plop and I put down some regular rail right, I do this and it will connect and then I can put down a lever um, put down the lever here Uh, oh, does it need a... There we go. Okay. I'll deal with that. And then I can push them around here. All right. So, I got word that I passed the Magic Castle audition. Um, but then I needed to uh, wait for my orientation session, which happened this past week. Okay, let me... Stash some stuff, take care of these iron golems, and then we can proceed. Hello, Mr. Fletcher. Well, you're not Mr. Fletcher. You're just a Fletcher. But you'll do. I think. Yeah, you'll do. <clears throat> One, uh... One thing that they changed with the villagers in 1.14, let me uh, go just double check my rails here, is uh, they do, once presented with a, uh, what do you call it, uh, occupation um, from 1.13, they do seem to, to hang on to it, which is good. Um, Okay, I need you. Just gonna make sure he's okay. Yeah, excellent. I'll just go move you, scoot you over here a bit, and then uh, scoot you over this way. Uh, but I'm a little concerned about my potato and carrot farms. Because if the villagers get too far away from their uh, workstation, apparently they kind of forget what they're doing and stop farming. And that seems bad. Uh, so I'm a little concerned about that. I need to do some testing before we do the update. But um, it it is what it is. I'm not going to... If I have to modify the farms a little bit, I, I will. And I think I know how to go about doing that. Um, but hi Mr. Fletcher that is the Mr. Fletcher okay hi I need volunteers all right do I have no more brown coats I'm not gonna take you out um I may need to Oh, hello. No, you're Mr. Fletcher. Okay. Oh, there's a baby. Not of the right type, though. He's got an apron on. Okay, let's uh, let's call some of these like the nitwits. Cause no one eats them. And and then we'll breed some more. And this will be a multi-step process, I think. Oh. Hi, what are you? You're a librarian. Blast protection, okay. You're worth uh, some work. There's the Fletcher. There's another nitwit. Let's see if I can get you captured. Yes, I can. All right. Pretty early. So, I had, as I said, I had my Magic Castle audition. Not, I had the auditions. Uh, but, um, oh, that's not what I really wanted to do with you. Okay. That's okay. If I send you back. Ha. 
Ah. There we go. And we get a minecart back. Okay. Uh, so we had the orientation, which was uh, which was interesting. They had a little reception for all the recently new members, um, and we had there was a little buffet and there was a presentation welcoming everybody. And there were there was a gift there were gift bags, and there was uh, I got my membership pin, <clears throat> which is really cool, and I had. Uh, uh, um, and some other goodies, but they also then did a presentation on here are benefits, and here's how you use them, and here are the rules, and how not to get kicked out. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then that was on Wednesday. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Wednesday, the, what, 31st of July? So that was then, and then I, on Saturday, on the weekend, I went in and visited the library, which is one of the big draws for me for um, for joining was to be able to get access to the library, uh, and that so that was really cool. And I there's there are a few books that I've been wanting to read and look through and just have not been able to do so because they're out of print and I can't find used copies or they're very expensive. So, <clears throat> so I went in on Saturday and found one of the books in the library and sat down and read it and took notes and took like, made like 20 pages of notes and I think that was all pretty cool. So that was uh, my first sort of taking advantage of uh, my membership benefits, which is, I think, pretty cool. Um, there is a show coming up on Wednesday that I am very interested in attending. So I'm planning on that. Um, and then I go camping. There's a camping trip that I'm going on. And uh, so that is the uh, further visits to the castle. We'll have to wait, but that's the way life is. And then I've got more more books to go through in the library. library and there are magicians coming up that I want to uh, to see. So... Lots of lots of things to do there. I think that's very cool. Do you have to figure out a food situation? Um, I can eat stuff in the restaurant, um, but I really want to find. Um, I really want to see if there is food that I can have that is in the uh, on the bar menu, because. Uh, <clears throat> Sometimes one of the don't push him farther, please. In fact, let me push him. There we go. Um, <clears throat> one of the benefits of being a member is you don't have to. You are not obligated to eat at the restaurant. Of course, you are always able to, uh, welcome to. Uh, oh, let me just go. Double check which way this is. Another nitwit coming down the line. Yeah, see? Switch. Um, yeah, so, but, you know, if, especially being there at the castle for long periods of time, um, several hours, definitely want to be able to eat. And they do have a, a full bar menu now. Uh, so that is, I think, potentially something that will be helpful. So I just need to figure out what things that I can eat with all my horrible food allergies. And it looks like there's some, some potential there, so. Uh, just need to find time to 
perhaps talk with the chef to figure out uh, things. The, the bar menu does sort of cover some common allergies or food preferences, I guess. Oh, hey guys. No, you can go back that way. There you go. Um, <clears throat> so they do mark, you know, gluten-free. They also have vegan uh, things marked, which is nice. Um, but I have other, I have other food issues and really want to figure out if, make sure that the the things that are marked gluten-free are also free of, of stuff that I can't have, so. It'll take a little time to figure that out. And hopefully, hopefully there are good sources of, of food there, so that would be very nice. Oh, hey, thank you. Do we have other brown clothes hiding back here? No. Got uh, the cartographer. So the cool thing is in 1.14, you can... Mr. Fletcher's in there. Uh, you you can make villagers whatever profession you want. Oh, rotten potato. Uh, yeah, so you don't have to worry about randomly getting baby villagers who are farmers. Which is great. Um, so that'll be something fun to play with. So I can build a villager breeder. And my current thought is to do that over here in this area here. So right now I've got five blocks behind here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then here, this is the wall in the back, I believe. Let's see here. So I'm looking at, I'm facing Z direction. So 340 minus 343 if I run in there real quick. Three forty-two. Oh, so three forty-two is the wall. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so the so right here is the wall. So starting here, I can build stuff, and this only goes over to here. The wall's right here. I should have moved. I should have put that wall over one more. But so I've got this whole. I have this area here that I can dig out. And I can build a villager breeder in there and start just generating villagers and putting out into holding tanks, which I'm thinking of doing maybe down over here or using this area as like little holding pens. Not entirely sure. How's our food doing here? Let's take care of some of that. Uh-oh. Um, I've got too much stuff in my pockets, don't I? Yes, I do. That's okay. Shoop, bloop. Get these. Another 15. Okay. Very good. Plop, plop. There we go. So, um, so yeah, that's very cool. So I can get in my car, drive to the castle. Unfortunately, that involves driving past the Hollywood Bowl, and it's summertime now, so. That is, uh, traffic can be problematic depending on what's going on at the ball. Uh, but, uh, it's, you know, whatever. It's, it's a problem that can be dealt with. And then the, uh, then drive up to the castle and the valley my car and go inside. Um... <clears throat> Cool thing is, uh, as not cool, the cool thing, but uh, something that I found very touching as a member when you walk into the castle, there's a there's a door person there that sort of helps you in, opens up the door for you, and just makes sure you know that you're a member. Um, holds up the door and he says, "Welcome home." I thought it was very touching. Um, yeah, so... And it's it seems to be the standard greeting. 
which is I think kind of nice. The implication being that it's everyone's home away from home. Okay, so I got plenty of adult villagers in here. I think I can call a couple more. Let's go swap some things. This guy should be safe in the event that for some reason a zombie does find his way in here. We'll not be able to zombify this guy. And go. Huh. I'm short a couple rails. It's okay. Hi. Can I? Can you help me? Um, <clears throat> so yeah. And then the, uh, let's say once you're inside the castle as a member, then basically you can ha wander around and do what you like. You can, uh, watch the magic shows, you can hang out at the bars, you can uh, go to the restaurant and eat, and you can, uh, magician members can go in the library, and there's, uh, and there are other things in there too, there's a, there's a classroom where they teach, where they, they do sort of the magic university, huh? hi, um, which I think is cool. And all these things are available. A lot of them are available to the public. The public can come in and take classes and they get temporary sort of kind of temporary access, kind of like a temporary membership. Uh, but then they, uh, and uh, the public can come as the guest of a member. So you, but if you come as a guest of a member, uh, if you if you come on a guest pass, let's put it that way, uh, you you are obligated to. Whoops, you are obligated to eat dinner in the restaurant, uh, which is fine. It's a nice restaurant, uh, and they've been going to great lengths lately to try and improve the food and the the food experience. It just can be a little. Um, it's not a cheap restaurant. And you can expect to spend a little bit of money there. And uh, it, it takes time. So you're going to spend about an hour eating. And uh, that's time that you could spend in, uh, in, in a, one of the showrooms. So that's, uh, that's the only downside, really, to coming on a guest pass. Otherwise, it, it works just fine. Okay, these guys are going pretty good. They're farming again and throwing food at each other like that right there. Um, so I think that takes care of kind of the immediate needs. Let me clean these up. Do I have a couple shulker boxes for this? Are all these full? Oh. They are all full. Are these all full? No, these two are not. Okay, I can make some paper and put them in there. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> so, I think, I think that's what I've got for right now. I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to go and make some paper here. Uh, and... Yeah, there we go. Uh, cool. And if anything interesting happens, we will come back. But otherwise, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye.